there. I want to welcome you to my channel. First off, you might see me wearing a Green Bay Packers jersey. Um, no, it is a Green Bay Packers jersey, but just know I am a Chicago Bears fan till I die. This, we're just going to act like this does not exist. We know nothing about Green Bay. We know nothing about Aaron Rodgers. You know what I'm saying? So in our head, this is orange and blue. For Yeah. This is orange and blue. It's an optical illusion. Anywho, I want to welcome you to my channel. This is your girl, Danny Blue. And today I'm going to do a quick demo and review of a blush that I picked up from, where I picked this up from? Target. Because I feel like um, this item is exclusive to Target. So if you're looking to see a video that's dedicated to a quick demo and review of a blush, keep watching. We're not going to do any edits. We're going to just keep this truck rolling. So the item that I'm talking about is Wet n Wild's new color icon ombre blush in the color purple haze. This is what it looks like. It's a nice purpley color and it comes in a clear cover and this is the actual color. It's a very beautiful ombre purple. Now, um, I paid $4.99 for this at Target. And again, I think this is exclusive to Target. I've seen it nowhere else. Um, oh, I'm just blowing it because it looked weird. But anywho, um, this is from their new line. So they have like their regular formula blushes and then they have these new ombre blushes. These are the newer ones. They came in like three colors. This is the only one I really wanted to try out because I'm trying to broaden my um, makeup usage repertoire. And I have a few blushes, but I'm not a true blush girl, but I'm willing to stick my neck out there and try some new things. You know what I'm saying? But anywho, so I wanted to see how this would work on my brown skin because as you can tell, this is a light purple. So yeah, let's go ahead and swatch it. And I'm just going to rub my fingers all the way through and we'll just do it right here. So as you can see, it's a light lilac purplish color coming off kind of ashy, but it also is coming off like it's a highlighter, at least on the camera. To me, I can see that it's like a really light purple color. So let's just apply it to the cheeks and see what we got. And I'm just using my Wet n Wild blush brush. Blush brush. Oh, this stuff is powdery. Okay. And I'm looking in the mirror if you see me looking over because there's a mirror right behind me. I don't see much. Let's do a little bit more. I might have to pack some on. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's not like I'm doing any more videos tonight. I've met my quota. I have papers to grade. Yeah. Oh, okay. It looks, it looks nice. It's cute. Now, I don't know if the camera is picking up that purplish hue. I'm trying to compare it to the other side. I'm just packing it on because I want to see the intensity. Because you know us brownies, yeah, blushes just be playing. Okay, it looks okay. It's as you can see, I've dabbed it about five times because I keep on trying to increase the intensity. And now I think I got some, I think I got it the way I want it. Yeah, because I'm looking at my cheeks in the mirror. And this one looks different compared to this one. It looks like it's highlighted or something. So yeah, I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but I can. But that is telling me that if you want to get the intensity level that you're used to with blushes, you're going to have to pack this baby on. So I like the look because it's nice and light, but I don't got time to be sitting here packing my face with this. So this would look really nice on a female or male or whoever with a lighter skin complexion. And I'm just looking at it like, yes, this y'all would rock this. But me being a brownie, ugh, I know y'all keep seeing me doing that, but I'm trying to make sure I get the cheek. Um, actually, that looks pretty boss. It does. 
I don't know. I'm having mixed feelings about this. Um, it doesn't have any real smell, just a regular makeup smell, but I think I like it, but I don't think it's, it's coming off the way I want it to. You know what I'm saying? Like if I was lighter, I'd probably be looking like a damn clown. You know what I'm saying? But because I'm darker, the intensity of the true color of this, because this is a very beautiful blush, it's just not serving my face the way I wish it would. So if you're a brownie like me, I suggest you stay away from this. If you're lighter than me, this is going to look boss as hell on you. But for me, it's going to be a no-go. It's probably going to go back because it's not doing what I need it to do. I need blushes to be bam, pow, poof in your face. You feel me? So anywho, if I didn't answer your questions, I believe I told you it's $4.99. It's exclusive to Target. That's the only place you're going to be able to find it. Um, it has a slight makeup -y smell. Um, its formula is not too powdery. It's normal. Um, it's a very pretty color, but for a woman of color, you will have to literally pack it on and be in clown mode in order to get it to show up the way you want it to. So, if you have not hit that subscribe button, hit that button right away. I want you to hit that like button if you like what you saw and you want quick demos and reviews about products like this again. And if you have any recommendations of any products you'd like to see me do a quicker review and demo on, post it down below and I'll hit you guys up with whatever you're looking for. So, all right. I'll see you guys later. And yeah, keep them cheeks popping and you guys stay classy.